Hi there everyone, uh, this is Peter, um, just uh, you know, a wee note from my luxurious surroundings of my study here, ha ha ha. Um, a wee update just on where things are and really checking in with you and how things are doing for you. Uh, these are difficult and challenging times for us all. Um, some of you may know that uh, uh, Carolyn at the moment is uh, uh, in somebody else's flat, uh, self-isolating from the rest of us as a family for the next, uh, well, for, for 14 days or so. Um, she's fine, um, but uh, just um, because of contact may have had with, uh, with somebody else. Uh, so, yes, it impacts us all, everything that is going on. So just wanting to touch base with you, make sure you're, you're all doing okay. Uh, please remember that we're all just a phone call away. If there is anything that you are uh, needing, even just to have somebody to, to get in touch with, uh, please do call. You can call the church office. We'll make sure somebody gets back in touch with you your elder is just a phone call away so if you need to have a chat with somebody uh, please uh, do do that um, one of the things we are uh, making as a change at the church uh, julie the church administrator is going to be moving to working from home and that means that the phone is going to be on a, a redirect um, when there isn't anyone in the in the church itself in the office of the church. Um, we're gonna, we've changed the hours a little bit when the church office would otherwise be uh, manned. So we've moved it to 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and we'll try to keep to those hours. So Julie will answer the phone. Uh, during that time period. The rest of the time you can leave a message and we'll pick that up. Uh, so that's what's happening there but uh, very much the church office still being, um, even if it is not within the church, uh, but still a place to send information backwards and forwards so that we know what, uh, what's going on. Worship is still continuing we're doing that online as uh, we were doing, you know, it's our normal pattern of things, but we're trying to expand that in different ways. We had the first of our Lent study series online using Zoom and it worked okay. There was a few wee issues, but it was quite complicated because we had different files we're showing and videos and all kinds of things, but it seemed to work okay. We'll have another one of those this Sunday evening. There is a link on the church website, on the homepage of the, the church website. So if you want to try that out, um, you'll find the link there. You need a computer that's got a webcam and kind of audio and a microphone. Now most laptops or tablets or even a phone, some people are using, it should be fine. Um, if you're on a desktop computer, it does need a webcam for us to be able to see you, though you may be able to listen in anyway. Um, it's all very experimental, this, as we try out uh, how things can work and what's the best way of doing things. But we're trying, and uh, the more of you want to join in, um, the better. Sunday worship is continuing on. We'll have another service this uh, Sunday morning, the usual time of 11 a.m., and then we'll be moving into uh, towards Palm Sunday uh, for the following Sunday, Holy Week and Easter morning. So we'll try and do some things again using the, the technology that's available to us. Um, we'll try to do something. There'll be a service on Palm Sunday morning, but maybe in the evening as well. that will be a bit more interactive. So uh, keep an eye on the website for um, details of what we'll be doing and the link so that you can get access to that. And then again, through Holy Week, we'll try and do, and David Stewart at South Holborn and I are kind of thinking through some of these things, how we can do it, and especially how to do it with a bit of engagement from, from other people uh, there. So we'll see how that goes. For Easter morning, I haven't quite thought through what we're going to do for Easter morning yet, but one thing to keep in mind, if you've got a chocolate egg to hand, then maybe uh, just keep one of those eggs aside. So for whatever we do on Easter morning, um, keep that there and we'll maybe use that. 
in other things that are going on, of course, most of the things in the church, that's everything's closed down, all the groups and organizations, as with uh, everything else, has, has all come to an end uh, during this period. But we are trying to keep some community involvement, uh, most of that taking place by either online or phone um, or by email, and just trying to get an engagement with people who might be in need uh, who might have particular vulnerability or a situation arises and they need a bit of support. And it's great. There have been uh, around 70 volunteers who have offered to help with that from the from the community. And uh, so uh, we're trying to coordinate that. We're doing that across the four other churches with South Holborn, with Rudston West and St. John's, the Episcopal Church and uh, trying to do the best we can in very difficult circumstances to help our neighbours out. Um, so just keep tabs on that, what's happening, and we'll try to keep you up to date with what's going on there. You might have heard about it already, uh, seen a bit of information about it. Well, that's there uh, in case anyone needs it for emergency, emergency situations if anyone's needing some support. Well, that's a wee update just on kind of what's going on at the moment. Uh, things are changing all of the time. Um, please make sure that you keep yourselves safe, wash hands diligently and uh, look out for one another as much as you can. I'd just like to end with a reflection. It comes from uh, a colleague of mine, uh, Leslie Stewart is uh, another minister and she's written these words for our time at the moment. There were other doors once locked in fear in a time of waiting and distress. It was an uncertain questioning time, longing for what had been known and treasured before. Into that space, calming and soothing came these welcome words, peace be with you. Peace be with you in every worry, in every sleepless night, in every loss experienced, in every comfort now distant. Peace be with you in every certainty, in the shared burden of these days, in the unexpected connections, in the gift of another sunset and sunrise. Peace be with you and yours. The deepest peace, the strongest peace, the peace that passes all understanding. Christ is our peace and is in our midst. His words echo again. Peace be with you. Amen.